Welcome to EMWorks webinar series. Our agenda is as follows. A brief discussion about our products and services, followed by the main technical presentation. Then comes the questions and answers period. At that point, a senior application engineer will go on stage and answer your questions. You may then type your questions in the chat section. All of our products are integrated into SolidWorks. Some of our products are equally integrated in Autodesk Inventor. Why? There are a couple of reasons, including, we want to concentrate our effort on what we know best. Electromagnetic simulation. We don't want to reinvent the wheel. In other words, why should we develop a CAD while there are excellent professional CADs out there? Developing a CAD requires much more human and financial resources than a simulation software like ours. Indeed, all simulation companies that made the mistake of developing their own CAD ended up with a primitive and even mediocre software. Why bother about learning a new primitive CAD? Just use your professional CAD and start simulating right away. You can easily collaborate with other departments in your company since all of you use the same CAD model. Some companies that have their primitive CAD claim that you can import files from popular CADs such as SolidWorks or Inventor. It is true. You can import. However, oftentimes you would need to heal, stitch, or clean the geometry because of compatibility issues. Furthermore, if and when you need to make the smallest modification, you must start all over again. We hope that you understand now why we stayed away from developing our own CAD and, instead, relied on the professional CADs. We believe that we convinced you. You may ask now, what are the other companies providing an electromagnetic software package that are fully integrated in a professional CAD such as SolidWorks or Inventor? Look no further. EMWorks is the first and the only company that provides electromagnetic software as add-in to SolidWorks and Inventor. As a matter of fact, the integration in SolidWorks dates back to 2007 and in Inventor to 2012. Consequently, we have more products integrated in SolidWorks, which are all gold certified. Our products and services are as follows. EMS is a 3D electric and magnetic field modeling software for frequency ranging from DC to few hundred megahertz. It covers many applications like insulators, cables, bus bars, permanent magnets, actuators, circuit breakers, transformers, and motors. HF Works is an electromagnetic simulation software for RF, microwave, high frequency, and high-speed electrical and electronic devices. It covers many applications including a wide range of antennas, resonators, filters, connectors, and waveguides. EMWorks 2D is a 2D and axisymmetric electric and magnetic field modeling software for frequency ranging from DC to few hundred megahertz. It covers the same applications as EMS. Motor Wizard is a template-based motor design software. It offers analytical and finite element analysis for BLDC and permanent magnet motors. In addition to these solvers, we offer several multi-physics modules including motion, stress analysis, thermal analysis, electric circuits, and ECAD. Let's move now to the feature technical presentation. Welcome back to the EMWorks webinar series. Defected ground structure technique to improve the frequency response of a microstrip low-pass filter. The defected ground structure is a new technique to improve the frequency response of low-pass filters. This technique consists of etching out slots or defects on the ground plane of a printed microstrip board. It is a simplified form of electromagnetic band gap structure. 
In this webinar, we will show you step by step how to use the virtual prototyping high frequency software HF Works to improve the frequency response of a microstrip low pass filter using a defected ground structure. Since HF Works is an add in to SolidWorks, the number one 3D CAD software, the creation and modification of the geometry is as easy as a pie. Therefore, we skip the geometry creation part and dive straight into HF Works. Since the S parameters is the standard metric to study the frequency response of filters, we use the to add a new S parameter study. Right click on the project name and choose S parameters. Give it the name of DGS. Click on the Frequency Sweep tab. Enter 1 GHz for the start frequency and 20 GHz for the end frequency. Enter 51 for the number of frequency points. No need to check the other tabs. The default is adequate for this application. Click OK. A new S parameter study is added to the HF Works Manager tree. Let's apply the material for each body. Right click on airbox to apply air. Right click on filter substrate to apply FR4 PCL FR204 material. Let's apply the necessary boundary conditions. Right click on boundary conditions and choose port. Apply port 1 as shown. It is a microstrip wave port. Click OK. Apply port 2 as shown. It is again a microstrip wave port. Click OK. Click on boundary conditions to add perfect electric conductor boundary. Choose the bottom face of the substrate which presents the ground plane except the H-shaped slots and the printed metallic surfaces on the top of the substrate, as shown. Click OK. To create another study without the defected ground, just copy the above study. Give it the name no DGS. All input parameters given to the DGS study remain the same, except the H-shaped slots. Edit the perfect electric conductor boundary. Add the H-shaped slot faces to the list of existing faces. It is equivalent to eliminating the defected ground because the ground plane is all metallic now and has no slots. It becomes a regular microstrip low-pass filter without defected ground. All the pre-processing is now complete, and we are ready to run the studies. Right-click on a study name and choose Run. Solving will take time. Let's instead examine existing studies that were run previously. After the run is complete, results folder is created and contains different type of results. Circuit parameters folder contains the results table and 2D plots. Electric field and magnetic field folders contain the near electric and magnetic fields in the entire model. Port fields folder contains the electric and magnetic fields on the ports. Loss density and total loss folders contain the volume and surface losses inside the structure. We shall concentrate on the S parameter results. Right click on the plots folder and add a new 2D plot. 
Choose all from source. Choose S11 and 211 from parameters and click Add. Click OK. The plots of S1121 versus frequency appear for the DGS and no DGS studies. Clearly, the microstrip low pass filter without the defected ground structure has a stop band bandwidth from 2.54 GHz to 9.57 GHz at 20 dB suppression level and cutoff frequency of around 2.03 GHz. On the other hand, the filter with a defected ground structure has a much wider stop band. That is, a stop band bandwidth from 2.05 GHz to 16.5 GHz at 15 dB suppression level as well as a 3 dB cutoff frequency of around 1.98 GHz. An impressive improvement in the frequency response of this low-pass filter. Double click on the results table. It contains all circuit parameters for all frequencies. Click close. From the electric field folder, we can create different types of plots. Fringe, vector, or streamline. To show the fringe plot of the electric field, just click on the electric field icon. The magnitude of the electric field is color-coded where the red color is the maximum and the blue color is the minimum, as shown on the legend on the right side of the plot. To animate the electric field plot, right-click on the electric field icon and choose Animate versus Phase. To show the vector plot of the electric field, just click on the second icon with the vector symbols, as shown. Similarly, you can animate, this time versus frequency. To show the section plot of the electric field, just click on the third icon with the section symbols. To animate the section field plot, right-click on the section field icon and choose Animate versus Section Cut. Right-click on the electric field folder and add Choose 2D Plot Linear. In the graphic area, click on several points on the model. The electric field plot between segments appears. All of the above plots of the electric field are equally applicable on the magnetic field and loss densities. To show the magnetic field, just click on its icon. To show the volume loss density, just click on its icon. You may generate a report that summarizes all your work. Right-click on Reports folder and Generate. Customize your report and choose either HTML or Words format. Click OK. To conclude, the introduction of the H-shaped defected ground slots has improved the frequency response of the low-pass microstrip filter. A tool like HF Works is indispensable to design RF, microwave filters, and study their frequency response. Thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for bearing with us. And I hope that you have learned from the feature technical presentation. Let me briefly touch upon support offered by EMWorks. Our support service is second to none. We always have your back before and after sales.
We offer one-to-one -one web demo sessions to give you a head start and shorten your learning curve. You may even run a benchmark for you if you want to skip the trial option. We offer consulting and design engineering services. We may even propose to you a new design as per your requirement or refine and optimize your existing design. Featured Customers These are just few of our respective clients. These big names that come from various industries are true testimonial for the quality of our products and services. I encourage every one of you to try our software and experience its power and ease of use. We offer two weeks of free trial license. You may opt for a benchmark instead of a trial license. Please visit our webpage at www.emworks.com. Go to our Contact Us page. Fill in your information and submit your request. We will contact you promptly. On behalf of EMWorks, I would like thank you all of you for attending this webinar. Feel free to contact us after this webinar to get more information on our products. Now we pass to the questions and answers period. Please type your question in the chat section on the right of the screen.